Will AI enable us to live forever? Have you ever heard of longevity escape velocity? Well, you're about to, and it is much closer than you think. A good friend sent me a direct message that said, mate, you need to help me unhate my view of the future. And this was my answer. If you can live to 2035, you might just live forever. That's a big statement. In fact, they don't come much bigger than that. This would be the most transformative thing that has ever happened to our species. And I meant what I said. We call it longevity escape velocity, LEV. And this is a term that will start to permeate media and modern AI culture. So here's a definition. Longevity escape velocity, or LEV, is the idea that if we have enough technology, life expectancy can increase faster than time itself. Essentially, each year live will add more than a year to your lifespan. And once we reach LEV, aging simply becomes a managed condition, not an inevitable decline. It's a tipping point where aging becomes just another solvable problem. And we are very close. We're on the brink of flipping the script on human longevity, turning science fiction into science reality. We might just be the first immortal generation. If this sounds kind of insane, here are some things worth remembering. In agrarian society, People frequently died from broken arms and legs. Life expectancy was somewhere in our low 40s. And for 199,900 years, this number really didn't change. Yet in the past 100 years, life expectancy has increased by 25 years. And this is actually accelerating. As I write this and speak this, life expectancy is increasing by 4.8 months every 12 months. Key breakthroughs in biotechnology, regenerative medicine, and AI will facilitate this. When will this occur? The rapid pace of technological innovation means we might see LEV sooner than you think. Legendary futurist Ray Kurzweil predicts we could hit LEV as early as 2035. He sees the exceptional growth in technology as our ticket to immortality. Another biomedical gerontologist, Aubrey de Grey, agrees with his assessment. So what are the technologies to make it possible? Artificial intelligence. AI's advanced algorithms and machine learning capabilities can crunch massive data sets and uncover the secrets of aging. It can then find connections and solutions that no human could ever uncover. AI will supercharge drug discovery, personalize treatments, and optimize healthcare, making it possible to extend and enhance life like never before. CRISPR. This gene editing marvel lets us tweak DNA with precision, potentially fixing the genetic hiccups that cause aging itself and age-related diseases. We could even use it to reverse the aging process and change our physical disposition. Things like height, eye color, you name it. It sounds crazy, but CRISPR could spawn therapies that halt or even reverse genetic damage from aging, paving the way for longer, healthier lives. Pick your age, 27 forever, it's a possibility. Nanotechnology. By manipulating matter at the molecular level, nanotechnology can repair cellular damage from the inside out. This has already occurred and researchers have already developed nanorobots that kill cancer cells in mice while leaving 
the healthy cells untouched. Picture tiny machines patrolling your body, fixing damage, delivering drugs, and keeping you in peak condition. Like having a personal medical team at a microscopic level. Not once you get sick, but as an ongoing basis to avoid illness. Regenerative medicine, stem cell therapy, and tissue engineering are at the heart of this regenerative medicine process. These technologies can regenerate damaged tissues and organs, effectively rolling back the clock. You're so young and beautiful. This will obviously have massive implications. As lifespans extend, we'll need to rethink societal structures. Careers, retirement and relationships will all have to evolve, adapting to a world where living beyond 100 is not the exception. A world of infinite lifespans has incomprehensible social implications. LEV brings ethical dilemmas. Who will have access to this life extending technology and who won't? How do we ensure fairness? We must tackle these questions head on to avoid a future where longevity is a privilege and not a right. We could invent an entirely new problem, lifespan inequality, which we must remember already exists as wealth is a key predictor of how long someone lives. The economic landscape will shift dramatically. Healthcare systems, insurance models, and economies will need to adapt to a population that stays healthy and active well into old age. Wait a minute, they won't be old. They will be young and live forever. Will people fund an infinite future instead of retirement? Will we work forever? Or will we achieve collective abundance with the same technology that helps us live forever? Embracing LEV means preparing for a future where longevity isn't just a dream, but a reality within our grasp. It might just offset the low birth rates we are seeing in developed countries and totally redefine our species. But the social tsunami that comes as a result of this, that is going to be a wild ride. You better hang on. The ancient philosopher Seneca said, the day of our death is the birth of eternity. Once you die, you join the realm of the immortal. But what if I told you you don't have to die? What if you could live forever?